Okay, greetings everyone, this is First Centurion 753 with the game Political Machine 2016 version. I don't know if there's a 20, uh, 20 version coming out or not, but we are in the middle of primary season for the Democrats, and we've gotten through uh, Iowa caucuses and New Hampshire primaries. Next, I believe, is Nevada, and then South Carolina, and then we've got the big Super Tuesday coming up, and Super Tuesday is going to be important because it's got most of the primaries uh, going on in that day. I think something, I don't know the numbers, I forgot the numbers off the top of my head, but there's a large amount. And after Super Tuesday, uh, there's no longer really going to be, well, after Super Tuesday, uh, the field is going to get weeded out a lot. And one of the newcomers in the field is a new billionaire by the name of, where is he, where is he? Michael Bloomberg, okay, he is, I think, third in the polls nationally, at least according to realclearpolitics.com, uh, and uh, a lot of moderates do like his uh, moderate positions, I don't know how he stands in this game, um, and with Joe Biden sort of uh, not doing as well as most people thought, uh, Bloomberg may be the moderate alternative. Especially if you don't like Pete Buttigieg, which some people apparently have a problem with him because of his lifestyle. I don't personally care. Do whatever you want. I care more about the person, the issues, and uh, whether or not they'll be a good leader. And Bloomberg has been making the argument of leadership, uh, of uh, having integrity in leadership, I believe. And, uh, well, the other side of the argument is... This guy and his leadership, Donald Trump. And so we're going to see if uh, Mike Bloomberg could actually beat Donald Trump. Can anyone of these Democrat candidates actually beat Donald Trump? Odds are probably against. Even though Trump has not been in like the 50% approval rating for the overwhelmingly majority of his presidency, a lot of people do not give good odds to the Democrats. So the question today we're going to answer is, can Mike Bloomberg actually beat... Donald Trump in a presidential election. And here we go. Uh, we're starting with $5 billion, $10,000 a week income. And I guess the first move is just going to be to build up your base. You got money? Let's build it up. Let's build it up all the way. And we just got a nice little influential guy here that will drop in Ohio. And let's take a swing through. Florida will pop down here. Oh, you know what I should have done? I did that wrong. I'm going to go up to Michigan. <clears throat> Just make some appearances. Show up in the state. That ends up raising your awareness, and uh, that will help you out tremendously. All right, so now we have a pretty good amount of income. I'm going to swing through. Um, oh, you know what I should be doing? He should be in California the whole time. Yes. Very important to be in California, because that is our fundraising base. Uh, Bloomberg's money is not going to last the entire um, election campaign, so we are going to have to promote ourselves here in California. 3% bump in the speech, bring up awareness, and in the meantime, I'm going to fly to Missouri, and we're going to spend some more money here. Oh, I can't build a base, can I? I guess we'll just drop an ad, right? Election integrity, I favor it. All right, sounds good. All right, so let's build the headquarters here. Let's start getting some uh, consulting going on. I'm going to fly down here, and I want to build another headquarters where we're going to get outreach. That's very important. Trump just got somebody that I missed. I don't know who it was. Um, I'm going to fly back to... Well, I'm going to fly... Into Iowa, I should have gone to Pennsylvania. These are swing states, those are very important. Alright, we'll end up here in Missouri, and I'm going to spend another 500 grand on upgrading that. And down to Florida to upgrade this. Alright, so now our outreach is pouring in three political clubs per week. Our uh, consulting office is bringing three political capital for agents. I'm going to swing through Pennsylvania. And we have a million dollars still, so let's go ahead and uh, end up in Missouri. Cha-ching. 
We're gonna go ahead and build, upgrade this headquarters. Headquarters here is huge. We've taken Missouri. Um, I do want another. Oh, half a million. So let's fly down to Florida. Another consultant. Look at that. Let's drop him off in Ohio. And upgrade this sucker. We should get another consultant, which I think we'll leave in Florida for now. Now let's move to Pennsylvania. Oh, we don't have enough money. All right, turn over. We can now get endorsements. But you know what I'm going to do? I'm going to wait, and I'm going to go after some of the uh, conservative endorsements to really... Oh, damn! Trump got me! Wow, okay, he must be moving pretty quickly on the uh, clout area. Clout department. Still going to want to get some of the 11. I'll be able to get one next next week. I think I'm going to go after the National Foreign Policy Committee. Yeah, I wanted that Chamber of Business. Because that is like Bloomberg's Department of Big Government, reducing unemployment. Those are nice issues for Bloomberg. We can build up, we can recruit operatives. He had a pretty good interview. Now, since he had a good interview, I want to have a PR consultant to make my interviews more effective. So, where's the interview? Oh, crap. Did I miss the interview? He didn't get that for an interview. He got that from his endorsement. Okay. I missed an interview. Oh, bummer. We are losing big time. Oh, no. Let's go ahead and grab an operative then. We can grab another one. Let's get a smear agent. Smear Trump down here in Florida. See if we can turn things around there. I screwed that up. I wanted that interview. We're going to go ahead. Oh, I can't do fundraising. I can't build the headquarters here. I'm falling a little behind. Election integrity. Let's campaign on that one. And let's fly out to California. We're going to do a fundraiser out here. And get an endorsement on the next turn. Sit tight. Well, maybe we should do a fundraiser. Let's go ahead and get a fundraiser. California has the most money. 400 grand. Big fundraiser. Not enough to build. Well, it will be enough to build headquarters in Pennsylvania. When we get there. Big swing state here Pennsylvania. Huge. Huge swing state. Alright, next turn we're going to get an endorsement. It's going to be a Republican endorsement, which will peel off our opponent. Ha, 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 ha. How are we looking now? 313, but behind in the national polls. Look at that. Let's build HQ. Boom. I'm going to go to Michigan and probably grab another HQ. No, I can't grab an HQ here. Let's drop an operative. Spin Doctor. Boom. And there's... Let's go to Ohio... Illinois first, sorry. Illinois. Drop an operative here. Um, Intimidator. Let's fly into this state and see what we got. Defire. Decreases opponent's personal ratings in the target state. Let's move this Defire to... We got a lot of uh, approval in Ohio. Look at that. Let's move into Wisconsin. I didn't hit up Wisconsin yet. Huh? All right, we're gonna need another fundraiser. California fundraiser. Not enough stamina. All right, we're done. Oh, I didn't have an HQ out here in California. Huh? Tea Party endorsement. Hmm. Time for a fundraiser. I feel like I'm falling behind a little bit. Illinois, we're going to drop an HQ, I think. No, we're not. Ha. I keep screwing that up. Let's pull into Minnesota. And let's get a consultant here. And I guess we could swing through Washington and back down to California for another fundraiser. On the next turn. I feel like I'm way behind. And I am behind. That's weird. Endorsement. Let's get the guns. Now we can't get the guns. All right, I'm going to focus on the Democratic endorsements. Uh, let's get unions. Okay. Fundraiser. 
Maybe I spent too much money early on. Build our HQ here. And we'll have enough money for an HQ in Michigan, but no HQ here. Let's get a speechwriter. And that's going to be it for this turn. Now we'll build an HQ here. Looking good. Got, oh, he grabbed something. I also need Virginia, don't I? HQ in Virginia. And let's drop an operative. I'll get the. No, 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 no. Let's do a smear agent here in Virginia. All right. We're also gonna need North Carolina. Drop an HQ here, North Carolina. This should raise our income. That we have all these HQs going all over the place. We are ahead in the polls. Christian Coalition just probably knocked this back though. Let's get the women endorsement. I feel like I am behind him in clout, though. Does he have multiple clout locations? Yeah, he does have a bunch. But will he be able to catch up to me? Operative Intimidator. Let's go to... Wow, we're really behind in Wisconsin. Let's go to Wisconsin. Build an HQ here. Well, let's build an outreach center. That'll raise our awareness. And I got enough money to end up in California with 59%. Florida, 48 to 44%. Bloomberg. Whoa, man, Ohio has turned deep red. That's going to be a problem. Well, three or four still. Fundraiser time. Let's do another one. Booyah. Get some cash. What is going on down here in Florida? This is looking ugly. Very ugly. I'm going to drop a HQ and a operative in Iowa. Campaign headquarters. And we can... Uh, let's get the fashion consultant. There we go. Alright, that's it for this turn. Running mates. I'm going with a liberal progressive, Elizabeth Warren. Drop her in Massachusetts. She can stay there and secure up uh, New England. In the meantime, HQ, okay... Give me an endorsement. Environmentalist Club. Looks good. Looking better. We're leading in Minnesota, Wisconsin. We need to get up to Wisconsin and do some damage here. Let's give a speech on election integrity. Nice four point bump in Wisconsin. How's Minnesota looking? I'm going to pull in here. We have more money now, too, so so since we have more money, I can't believe I left Ohio uncontested. I don't think I should leave Ohio uncontested. Good turn. Alright, pull in here, build HQ, and we're going to go ahead and... Damn! Trump get that. Oh, man, he beat me at my own game there. Okay, uh, let's get an advertising guru. And we're going to go ahead and drop a TV ad on election integrity TV. Drop it. That moved a few states. Virginia is very close. We should probably swing through there. Let's drop another operative. Smear agent in Virginia. There are two smear agents. There we go. Take North Carolina over. And let's fly into... Wisconsin's still close. Probably move my Intimidator here. Looks good. 
Damn, I am way behind in Iowa. I shouldn't even spend any more money there. Pennsylvania's close. Let's go to Pennsylvania. I'm going to need to do some damage here. Build, upgrade this sucker. And let's get the in last endorsement. Civil Liberties Union. Good. And I was going to build a HQ, but it looks like it's going to be a... Nobody. Nobody's going off here. Um, let's just give a speech about election integrity. Yes, 2%. Pennsylvania is now falling into our camp. Ohio is coming back. Let's end up in Ohio. I think we can flip it. We gotta wait. There we go. I think I can flip Ohio. Upgrade the campaign center. Drop a spin doctor. Florida! Jeez! Falling behind in Florida. Let's do an interview. Yeah. Then we'll head down to Florida and upgrade things down there. 60 seconds! I will appear on 60 seconds. Alright, Keystone Pipeline. Ah! I run the bullseye. As president, would you clear those roadblocks or stop the pipeline entirely? I'm going to... Oil is a step back. We need alternative energy. Alright, that was good. Obamacare contentious. It's been contentious. Ever since it's introduced, what's your stance on healthcare? I'm in favor of Obamacare. Okay, that'll maybe solidify our base, I think. Bloomberg rallies the base. Okay, we got some deep blue states going here. Oh man, Vermont. Oh, that's New Hampshire. New Hampshire is a swing state. Florida. Man. Ohio's close. Missouri is close. Wisconsin looks like it's swaying our direction. Illinois. I gotta go to. What about. Oh, we're losing Washington? How the heck am I losing all these states? Okay. Build an HQ here. Operative. We can't do. I don't think we need as many people in North Carolina. Actually, switch that up. There we go. All right. All right. Looking okay. 307 in the polls. Week 16, we are at 307. I'm going to swing down into... Ooh, we got some nice blue, deep blue going on here in the Midwest. Let's get another fun going. I should probably start swinging into New York for some fundraisers. Pennsylvania looks good. Hurting in Florida. Let's go down to Florida. Any operatives? Let's get an intimidator here. All right. Give a speech. I support Social Security. All right, Florida people love that. Drop a consultant down here. Raise awareness. Who's that? Marco Rubio. Wow, Trump went with Rubio. Unbelievable. Unbelievable. Looks like we're swaying Washington back into our corner. I'm not really going to chip away at much of the Republican core. I'm just going to have to focus on my own core to win this thing, I think. As well as the swing states. I did play one earlier this week. I did a playthrough earlier this week and I like swept. Uh, I think I had over 400 electoral votes, close to 500 electoral votes. But uh, that was on normal level. This is a little bit more challenging. I'm challenging myself. Kentucky, we're losing you. Florida is back in our corner. Let's talk about how our opponent opposes Social Security. Uh, one point bump. All right, not that great. Let's end ourselves in Virginia. Can I move? Is that even me? Appears like I can't move. Oh, did I get... Did somebody stump me? Was there a... Uh, Heckler reducing my stamina. Let's get out of Florida. 
speechwriter. That's for Trump. Okay, let's build HQ here. National organizing organization. Virginia. I think it's time to uh, get some ads going on here. We get advertising guru. Let's do a. We have election integrity. Addressing climate change. Strong military. Uh, I'll just drop a uh, local ad there for that. All right. Build this HQ. Upgrade. Virginia's got a lot now in our favor. I'll give a speech on strong military in Virginia. That should help. New Jersey is very close. Look at New Jersey. How did that happen? Trump went after Jersey. That's Atlantic City territory right there. Okay, let's drop a spin doctor here in Jersey. And we'll stay here for the turn. And I'm going to drop a headquarters here. And I'm going to give a speech on addressing climate change. 2% bump, securing Jersey at 52. What's going on in Ohio? 50. Florida's back in our corner. Missouri looks good. Illinois looks good. Washington is still close. Let's go out to Washington. New Hampshire should be moving our direction. Maine looks good. Virginia is definitely a battleground. All right, I'm going to end up myself in Washington. I'm going to give a speech addressing... Legalization of marijuana. Uh, is that going to be in trouble? 50%. We are at 342. Where else can I go? Nevada's got six votes. Colorado's got a few votes, and it's typically a swing state. We just positioned ourselves on marijuana, so let's uh, drop an ad here on that. And... That should sway Colorado, right? Give a speech. I'll support it in a speech. 2%. 320. We're losing Ohio. Winning Florida. Pennsylvania is very close. Let's switch to Ohio. We're going to have to do an ad on renewable energy. TV ad on renewable energy. That's good. We got Washington over there. How are we looking here? I think we're going to lose Ohio. But I don't want to lose... Ooh, is that a heckler? Probably slowing me down. I do not want to lose Pennsylvania for sure. 52% good. Bump that national organization up. Let's get another spin doctor. And let's give a speech here about Zika funding. I support it. 1% approval. Improval. Approval. Increase. That's what I meant to say. Looks like we're good in Jersey. I can move my spin doctor into Maryland. Good. Let's move that intimidator into there. I think we have taken over a bunch of states. Illinois is still close. One more turn. Race draws near. I want to swing into Maryland. Looks like we got it. Jersey's ours. I'm going to stay out of Florida. We have Florida. I'm not going after Tennessee. Kentucky's close. It's got eight electoral votes. Ohio, I don't think it's going to make it. Illinois is very important. Let's move into this state. Let's give a speech here on election integrity. 
Two percent bump. Very good. Operative. No operatives here. I could have used the fixers more. I didn't use fixers at all. All right. I think I'll swing into uh, Kentucky. Maybe swing that state if I can. Doesn't look like it. One last TV ad. They were fighting ISIS. And let's see if that does it. I think it I think we got to win. We need 270 to win. And that's 19. Looks like we're going to take all of the Northeast. Solid Northeast block. Elizabeth Warren brought us that. We got Maryland, Virginia, North Carolina, not South Carolina. Didn't campaign there at all, really. Jersey, we got a swing state in PA. And we lost Ohio. We got Kentucky. Very interesting. Uh, Florida, big one. Yes, that's huge. Huge. Uh, Michigan's going to be ours. Illinois, that's Indiana. Illinois should be ours. Good. That's a lot of votes there. Wisconsin. California should put us over, I think. So, looks like we did well. Missouri, I campaigned there early. Yep. Iowa. Minnesota. All right. This looks like a lock for Bloomberg. Big Texas win for Trump. Uh, oh, we got Nebraska. Really? Where'd that come from? Dakotas, Montana, the Rocky States. These are all. Oh, we got Colorado. That's our uh, marijuana legalization approval. Did not get Arizona. I, yeah, that's usually contestable, Arizona. Idaho, Washington, West Coast is going to be ours. And California, we already got it locked up. 337. I've done better. I've definitely. Ooh, we've lost to Hawaii. That's usually a blue state. All right, I've definitely done better, but it uh, looks like we got the win here. A more challenging role. So Bloomberg beats Trump for the White House. Ken Howdy? <laughs> we'll see. Or well, maybe we will, maybe we won't. I don't know. We'll see who gets the nomination. Things are going to be interesting uh, in the next couple months politically. Feel free to post comments down below. If you'd like to see more videos, uh, any different matchups for Political Machine 2016 or if 2020 comes around, let me know your suggestions down below. Thanks for watching. See you guys later.